Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're glad you're here. Uh, we're in Luke chapter 9 today. You know, actually, the reading for today, we're closing out the book of Matthew with the uh, death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Of course, that's what the Bible is all about, actually, from the beginning of Genesis to the end of Revelation, the gospel, the good news of salvation. But we're going to... Uh, this great truth of salvation and what it entails and who you are once you are saved. A lot of people, they aren't like this, so they're probably not saved. Uh, 46, Luke 8, 46. Luke 8, 46. What page is it on in the Pew Bibles? Say it out. Get. I want everyone to follow in the Bible. The Bible's King James Bible. We read together. 1216. Then there arose a reasoning among them which of them should be the greatest. You know, everybody wants to be a big shot. Everybody wants to be the greatest. You know, a lot of times people come and visit my church and they tell me who they are. What verse did you say? Luke chapter 9, verse 46. And they tried to tell me how they done this and they done that and they're the best thing since sliced bread. I'm very leery of those people. Someone do a lot of tooting their own horn or something wrong that person. Just show me who you are. Don't tell me who you are. You know what they say? Talk is cheap. Who should be the greatest? And Jesus perceived the thoughts of their heart. Now see, God knows your heart. Watch out took a child and set him by him, said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receiveth me, and who shall receive me receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you, the same shall be great. So the way up in Christianity is down. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. We forbade him because he followed. He wasn't in my church. Didn't do just like I said. Went to another church, casting out devils, doing God's work. I'm the only way. I, I, I know I'm not, the, I'm not the only preacher in town. I'm not the only church in town. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils. Verse 50, and Jesus said to him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against me is for me. There's other churches, and they believe a little different than I do. Okay, I accept that. Some churches won't accept that. They think they're exclusive. They don't want exclusive. Huh? I'm on 46 through 50, and you're not saying what's... Chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Oh, okay. Got to get in the right chapter, girl. You said chapter 12, 8. 12, well, go to chapter 9. I said chapter 9. Chapter 8 ain't going to cut it. 51. And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up. Where was he going? To heaven! He steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers here before his face. And they went, entered into the village of the Samaritans. What were Samaritans? Half-breeds. Jews hated Samaritans. They didn't like mixed race. A lot of people don't like mixed race today. A lot, this, this month is black something or another month, February. Yeah, did a lot of... A lot of black people don't like white people. A lot of white people don't like black people. That's foolishness. The Bible don't talk nothing about that. The Bible ain't got no color. I don't like black months and white months and all that kind of foolishness. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. Verse 54. When the disciples James and John saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them? <laughs> He wanted to have God burn him up. God could if he wanted. Sometimes he did. Hi, Jake. Good to see you, son. Verse 55. But he turned and rebuked them and said, You know not what man is spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. You see there? Let's just park there a minute. Jake, we're in Luke chapter 9, around verse 56. For the Son of Man is not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Jesus is a Savior, not a killer. 
You go to hell, it's on your part, you understand? Because you're, you're rebellious. Verse 57, it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest. You know, like they say, talk is cheap. I'll do it all. I'm all in, Lord. I'm all in. Verse 58, and Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath no where to lay his head. You know what that means? Jesus was a homeless person. Huh? Jesus was a homeless person. You're homeless, you're in good company with Jesus. And he said unto another, Follow me. Jesus talking, follow me. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. If you follow me, if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. What's a fisher of men? That's a soul winner. That's telling someone about Jesus and they pray to prayer and get saved. I try to do that every day. I work at it. And it said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me to first go and bury my father. He said unto him, let the dead bury the dead. But go thee and preach the kingdom of God. Tell people how to be saved. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, now here's the big deal on this. He said, no man having put his hand to the plow, that's getting saved. And looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Don't look back. Don't look back. Follow him. Yeah. Where he leads me, I will follow. Amen. How you doing? You say you're a Christian, but you live like the devil. You're drinking, you're smoking, you're shacking up. You don't even look like a Christian. You have no resemblance of a Christian. Someone mentioned to me. I'm going to lean on this chair a minute. Excuse me, I still got these. I ain't figured out what's wrong with my feet yet. Eight months, I ain't figured it out. It's all right, I can still preach. I don't care. As long as I can preach, I'll be all right. I'm going to lean on this chair a minute. Hope I don't knock it over. Uh, put your hand on the plow and follow him. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to I'm going to uh, finish out to the end. If you don't finish out to the end, you're not saved. It's called the perseverance of the saints. The perseverance of the saints. Now, I'm going to finish out. I'm old. And I'm going to finish. Put my hand in the plow. I'm not looking back. I wouldn't be fit. I don't get around as good as I used to. Sometimes I've got to use a cane or a walker because my feet are messed up. I think it's gone. I think it's more tests. A couple of doctors said it ain't. They said it was some kind of neurology nurse, but it ain't changing at all. You know, they give you medicine and nothing changes. It's the same. They ain't got the right thing. huh? It's got something to do with my blood. Because I'm pr producing uh, too many red corpuscles. They got to drain a pint of blood out of me every week. Because uh, it's re so that's a blood disease. They got a medicine to fix it. But it costs $20,000 a month. I ain't got that kind of cash. So it produces blood and they suck it out of me. <laughs> that's what it's going to be. 
Plus, any you can pony up the money. <laughs> Got to be a big time spender, twenty grand a year on prescription, huh? <laughs> but I set my hand on the plow. I've been faithful. I'm gonna go out strong. People say, "Well, they're a good Christian. They just they ain't, they kind of denied the Lord the last couple of years, but they've been a good Christian all their life. They ain't never been a Christian. I say they ain't never been a Christian. They're phony. Anybody that don't contend to the end is not a Christian." I've heard of people, they say their loved one was cursing and swearing and cursing God and died. And they said, oh, but they were saved. They went to heaven. They went to the fires of hell. And I guarantee you they went to the fires of hell. Don't you think you can wish your loved ones into heaven, huh? I got my hand on the plow. Ain't looking left, ain't looking right, ain't looking back. Well, persevere to the end. I'm praying for a revival in our church. I pray some of you go all in with me. Put aside the beggar the elements of the world. Let's let's get busy. You'd be surprised what two or three gathered in his name praying to bring down the power of God and we could change this city. Two or three faithful people to change this city. I want to be one of them. How about you? Huh? How about it? How about it, church? How about it? How about you out the internet? Well, I got to go bury my dead father. No, I'll let the dead bury the dead. Well, I bought some horses. I got to go look at them. You, you better look at them horses before you buy them. <laughs> huh? I married a wife. I got to take care of her. Put her in her place. Let her cook, clean, wash dishes. Girls didn't like that. <laughs> uh oh, Jennifer done crossed her arms. <laughs> That's a sign. That's called body language. <laughs> she ain't gonna make me them cookies now. <laughs> she make them. Jennifer's okay. <laughs> Jesus said, "No man or woman, mankind, having put his hand in the plow, save." And look at that. Fit for the king. You're looking back. You're looking back. If you save, you don't look back. Don't look back. David. David. Don't look back. Jennifer. Don't look back. Sabrina. Sabrina. Don't look back. You made a commitment when you were baptized here. You raise your hand. You commit. Don't look back. Jake, don't look back, son. Joy, look at me, man. Don't look back, son. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't look back. Don't look back. I look at back. Got my hand on the plow. Ain't looking that way. Ain't looking that way. You a farmer. Plant in the row. You better go straight. You might not notice for a while, but when it comes up, when it comes up, it's gonna be all screwed up. Amen. <laughs> got any farmers in here? Got a bunch of city. Oh, got you one farm girl here. <laughs> you know, farm life's a good life. I respect farmers. They get up before it's light, and they go to bed after dark, and they work, and they make their own food. And I, I'm very respectful of farmers. That's a good, honest living. You don't have to worry about going and buying stuff at the store. You know, a lot of them, them farm people, like Miss Doris, my 100-year-old volunteer, everything they needed, they had right in their farm. They had the chickens, they had the cows, they had the eggs, they had everything. Grew the grain, huh? Yeah. Doris, Doris walks kind of tip because her one leg's shorter than the other. She's a hillbilly. <laughs> You know, hillbilly as they walk on the leg, they got one leg shorter. <laughs> right, Doris? 
she owned a mountain. She'd give it away, I think. She owned a mountain somewhere. It wasn't a big mountain, you know what I mean? It wasn't a uh, uh, big mountain. It's a little mountain. Let's just call it a hill, okay? <laughs> she owned a hill. <laughs> No man have their hand put to the plow to turn it back. Why are you turning back? Got to bury my daddy. Married a life. I bought a field. I got this. I got to that. You think your tired excuse is going anywhere with God? Not a, not a bit. You're going to be here a short time. Like Doris always says, the young may die, the old must die. And the sick must die, too. You know why we're all going to die? Sin. Sin. It ain't because of cirrhosis of the liver. It ain't because of heart attack. It ain't because of cancer. Sin kills us all. The wages of sin is death. But I got my hand on the plow. Huh. You look back if you want. I ain't looking back. I got the victory. Faith is the victory. Faith is the victory. Oh, glorious victory that I overcome. Encamped along the hills of night. Man, I'm the happiest man in town. You know what I got? Joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's what it says in the Bible. Amen. I sleep good at night. I love my neighbor. I ain't mad at nobody. A lot of people hate me. I was greeting people out front. Sometimes I just go out here in the golf cart and wave at people. Talk to people. And uh, I says I was giving out treats out here and stuff the other day. I don't know who's out there with me. Jake, I, don't, I think Jake was with me. I says, you want some, You want something to eat? Is that James? Yeah, ain't no rest. Man, I'm so glad to see you. Last time I remember you, you cut walking down Marion back here, you give me a dirty look like you didn't like me. You like me again? I'm glad you came, James. I felt bad you done that, but I... No, you give me a dirty look like you're disgusted with you. That was you. Oh, I know who you are. But I'm glad you're in church. I don't think nothing of it. I'm looking for you. I drove by that place you wanted to make for homeless over here where the grapes were the other day. And I thought of you. Huh? I was going to call the town because somebody bought it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. You see, you know, the Bible says, James, without a vision, the people perish. You got a vision. But you got to keep your hand on the plow. Get rid of that alcohol. You ne your vision never going to come true unless you get rid of alcohol. When was the last time you had a drink, James? Three days ago. See, your, vi your vision never going to come out. Because you're living in sin. Now, son, I love you. You get mad at me and leave. I'm just trying to help you. You stick around and get right with God at this old-fashioned altar. You understand? Put your hand in the plow! Alcohol's your curse, James. You're a good man. He can detail a car real good. I like James. You still got a bunch of equipment you bought. I need to use it to detail my car. He bought $6,000 worth of equipment, then went off and got drunk, didn't use it. <laughs> he even brought a polishing machine. Someone might have stole that. Did he steal the polishing machine yet, or is it still there? I didn't look in there this morning when I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> there the God bless you, James. James, you're my friend. I love you to death. I hate alcohol. I hate alcohol with a vengeance. 
they're selling marijuana up here now. The government's selling marijuana on International Speedway. Well, marijuana ain't as bad as alcohol. I hope not. Alcohol's worse than all other drugs put together. Alcohol. The curse of James. The curse of KK. The curse that Jake had until about 20 months ago. Donnie got trouble with it. You still got trouble with it? Nope. You ain't drinking? Nope. Smoking? Why don't you quit smoking today? I'm all, all, no, don't try. Come over to the altar. If you ain't drinking, you don't have smoke. Shorty, you got to quit smoking. You still smoking them five dollar cigarettes? Yep. You ain't getting no money from me, girl. <laughs> getting cancer. You be here say <coughs> Pastor Varga, he told me I got cancer. Don't blame me. Blame your five dollar pack of cigarettes. Huh? Shame on you. She got pretty good testimony. She got baptized up here. She got saved. She she committed to it. Sabrina, get your hand on the plow. Jenny, come on. Don't act so surprised like you ain't got nothing in. You got junk in your trunk too, girl. So does David. Huh? Anybody got a little junk in their trunk? <laughs> come on. Listen. You ain't hiding nothing. Only what it matters with is God, and he knows. Yeah. Why are you trying to fool the pastor and other folks? It don't mean nothing. <laughs> Put your hand on the plow. Jesus said unto him, to Varga, huh? and to you, no man having put his hand to the plow, look it back. I ain't looking back. You know what? If you're looking forward, you can't look back. Let's turn around. Must turn right. That's called backsliding. Is there? I guess some kind of animals can turn their head around, but a human can't. I I can only go about that far. Some people get a little bit, but you can't turn your head around unless you got a rearview mirror, huh? Well, 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 which ones can turn their head around? Owl. Owl. I love an owl. I love an owl. You know, I had a little, I had a little owl. I got a pool behind my house. And it's got a pool enclosure. And the top of it, the screen was out on it. And I get birds that come in there. Most birds are real stupid. And they come in there and they be bashing themselves into the screen till they fall down either kill themselves or break their wing or I, they, they, they exhaust themselves and I pick them up and throw them out the door. Here come a little owl. One of them pretty little, owls can get big, man. That's a big owl, especially in the north, they got big owls. A little bitty owl, I don't know what they call it. But he, he come in top of my pool enclosure, set up there on the top, he looked this way, he looked that way. He put his head to the side, he wanted to sleep. He slept for about two hours. No. I was, I was, I love owls, I was fast to this thing. He woke up, looked around, he seen the chair, he looked down, he seen the chair down there. I had the door open. He jumped down from up there high to the tree, went out the door. Don't tell me an owl ain't smart. You see, it ain't no smarter than any other bird. Oh, no, you got another thing coming, buddy. Them other dumb birds are racking their head up against the wall. That owl took a nap. And, I'm, not, I'm not kidding you, man. They smart. I love an owl. 
Verse 62, we, we close chapter 9. And Jesus said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow. And look at back. You can't look back anyway if you're looking forward. Don't you turn around. Backslider! Oh, but Pastor Barga, God knows me. God knows I can't quit drinking. You can't quit drinking. God knows that I'm, it's just me. Yeah, it's just you, a sinner like everybody else. Better repent. Got an old-fashioned altar up here. Got one out in front. If the church is closed, hit the altar out in the front. Get on your knees. Repent. Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand in the plow, look at back, is fit for the kingdom of God. You ain't saved. You turn back and go back, and you were never saved. You see how it was. If you don't finish out, if you don't finish out saved, you ain't saved. I, I, I believe that. It's called the perseverance of the saints. You don't walk away from God if you're his child. You're in the family. Amen? All these years, for some years I've been dealing with drunks, mission people, over 50 years. I've seen old boys come to the altar, love God and pleading with them. So I'm so sorry, God, I'm your child, but I've been disobedient. I believe they're saved. I know other people, they've never had drink in their life and they're Pharisees and they're going to hell. Huh? You condoning, so I ain't condoning no one's drinking. But I know I ain't been drunk in 50, over 50 years as, as a Christian, amen? Good to be sober, hey, Jake? Been nice and been 40 years ago, huh, Jay? Yeah. It's all right. Do the best you can. You're doing okay, son. Glad you quit, Donnie. Quit them cigarettes, son. Go all the way. Get on the team. Let's go all the way, huh? God's got work for you. I want to tell you one thing. You go all the way with God. Your, your potential right here is unlimited. I guarantee you. You get right with God. Right here, your, your potential is unlimited. Take it. On, on, I'm the boss around here. I'm telling you that. You get right with God. Your potential here is unlimited. You know why it's unlimited? It ain't because of me. It's because of God. But he, he needs some people that are right with him. Amen? Some of you out there, there's some people right now supposed to be here from out in the community. They know who they are. One of them is supposed to be in here this morning. Don't come. That's all right. You love God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's got God do it. Shorty, you going to quit smoking? She ain't going to quit. You see, she rebels right in front of the church. You know, God's mad at you, Shorty. Jenny, you had your hand up. You don't know who I'm talking about because you don't know you don't know this person. Oh, I, I Different you know. person. There's a ton of people that's supposed to be here this morning. <laughs> it ain't man, man, the one you're thinking of probably is, but the one I'm thinking of, of ain't no none of you know know this person. They said they're coming. So, so you don't know who it is because ain't nobody in here knows this person. But the one you're talking about. He or she's on the list too. No man or woman have put their hand in the plow. Look at back. You can't. Don't turn your head so far. You're not like the owl. <laughs> it's fit. Now, what do we got to do to be fit for the kingdom of God? Anybody know? Got any idea? Get saved by faith. All you need. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. <laughs> Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. April 4, 1969, I got saved. 
Glory. Any of you been saved in here? <coughs> Let's get back to business. You that raise your hand, you say, you got something you got to get straightened out? Huh? You got something you got to get straightened out? Huh? Shorty? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's do it. Huh, Jan? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you. You that aren't saved, you know it. Get saved right now. In the church, around the viewing audience. The Bible says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in thine heart, God to raise him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And the Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah. April 4th, 1969, I confessed with my mouth, and I believed in mine heart, and I got saved. Pray the sinner's prayer with me. You know if you're lost, get saved right now. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. You shed your precious blood on Calvary's tree. Rose from the grave the third day. And the best I know how with an honest heart, I turn from my sins, receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Amen. Amen.